Hi, my name is Fieskevier and you're watching the Shiva Minute. This one's about normal mapping and for testing purposes I've created some, well, asteroid thingy and mud box. Here's how it looks. With the material already applied. I will go through the necessary setup for normal mapping now. On the right side I've opened the material that is applied to this object. It has a standard diffuse map, no extra effect map, a normal mapping map and a specular map. The intensity of the normal mapping cannot be regulated with the intensity slider. It only refers to the effect between effect map 0 and effect map 1. Mapbox and ZBrush and things like that give you options for normal map generation and those are usually called Maya and 3ds Max maps and they look pretty differently if you have a look at the Ma Max map, the one that's required for Shiva and you can see the difference quite well in Shiva this is the Maya map which doesn't work at all you can see seams and everything seems to be inverted while the 3ds Max map works really well. To see the effect you have to switch on receive dynamic lighting and go from per vertex to per pixel lighting. Tune shading is possible as well but it looks pretty weird so better switch that off. You can tweak the emissive values ambient and all the other stuff that comes with the lighting colors well the shininess is a real important option for the believability of the normal mapping effect if you do it too hard it looks all plasticky and unreal and if you turn it down, well not that much, the object gets a completely different feel. As a general rule of thumb I found out that objects that have a rough or um, not polished surface like skin or clothing or something like that work really well with a low shininess coefficient while Mm, well, metal and plastics and something like that work well with a high coefficient.